of Jack and the Beanstalk? Sure, honey. Long ago, Jack and his mum lived their life on a country farm. They were poor, not enough to eat, so they made a plan to make ends meet. Jack, go and sell our cow, Moo Moo, and with the money we can grow more crops. On market day, Jack sold Moo Moo to a funny old man in big blue shoes. Hello, young man. He politely bowed. I'll trade you beans for that milking cow. They are magic beans, and they will grow a crop as high as the sky. Wow! Jack went home to show his mum, but when she saw what he had done, she threw away the beans outside. Oh, Jack, just beans, oh my, she cried. But, but mum, they're magic beans. Oh, magic schmagic. The next day where the beans did land, a giant beanstalk grew Oh man. Jack climbed those twisty vines so high, When he went inside the place A big fat giant with an ugly face Came thumping in so very loud Shook the heavens and the clouds Be, buy, bo, bum I smell a boy, yum, yum, yum Be, buy, bo, bum Ready or not, here I come Jack was so frightened that he hid in the cupboard While the giant counted his gold and when the big old giant fell asleep, Jack escaped with gold to keep. Decided he'd go back up there. But first I'd better say a prayer. Oh please, oh please, keep me safe from the mean old giant. He climbed up to the castle and hid inside. Ah, he said the giant's pride. Golden eggs from that little hen. The giant counted at least ten. One, two, three. Come up and play. B, I, O, Bum, I smell a boy. Yum, yum, yum. B, I, O, Bum, ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Jack was fast and acted quick. He grabbed that fine white little head. He even grabbed a singing harp and climbed down that stalk again. La la! But the giant came thundering after Jack and threw himself onto the beanstalk. When I got home, I grabbed an axe and chopped that beanstalk all the way down. And that big old giant went hurdling off, never ever to be found. With the hen's golden eggs, Jack and his mum could now live a good life. Jack's mum was proud and made a feast, and neighbours came from near and far. The harp played songs and sang along. Through the woods and woke a sleeping lion. Angrily, he grabbed that mouse. She was scared and crying. She said, If you let me go, I'll help you someday. Soon you'll see. When you need me, I'll be there. You'll count on me. The lion and Said, you tiny thing, what could you do for me? Tell you what, ha <laughs> ha, you made me laugh, so I will set you free. Thank you. Next day, Lion stalked his prey, but on his way back home, he walked into a trap, he was captured and alone. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. The story of the lion and the mouse The lion and the mouse The lion and the mouse This is the story of the lion and the mouse Tiny mouse heard lion
lions roared and scurried to the sea. She gnawed the rope, released the lion and said, Now we're a team! Lion answered, I was wrong to laugh because you're small. If it weren't for you, I would not be here at all. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse, best friends forever. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse, best friends forever. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. This is the story of the lion. Hey, kids! <laughs> the ants go ploughing in the field Hi-ho! Hi-ho! The ants go ploughing in the field Hi-ho! Hi-ho! The ants go ploughing in the fields across a herder's cartwheel Digging in the sun. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go digging in the sun. The grasshopper dances for fun. And all he does is play while the ants work all day. The ants harvest in the fall. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants harvest in the fall. Hi ho. him to come in. Hi ho, hi ho. The grasshopper said with a grin. I'll never shirk our work again. And all the ants all shout. Hooray, 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 hooray.
little girl, where are you up to now? To my granny's house in the middle of the woods And the wolf had an idea foul The wolf ran fast to the house in the woods And knock, knock, knocked the door When the door opened the wolf leapt fast And tied up Granny Paw The wolf tucked in under the bed sheets tight Wearing Granny's robe When Red Riding Hood knock, knocked Come in my dear, he spoke What a deep voice, Granny, you have The better to greet you with What big eyes, Granny, you have The better to see you with What big hands, Granny, you have The better to hug you with What big teeth, Granny, you have The better to eat you with Riding Hood jumped away, fooled by the wolf no more. A passing woodcutter heard her scream and ran in through the door. Smash, 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 he knocked the wolf, saved little Red Riding Hood. Then Granny and he and Red Riding Hood had cake in the middle of the woods. Once upon a time there were three billy goats They went across a river but hadn't any boats Look over there, there's a bridge, can you see? We'll cross to the hills where the grass grows free <laughs> The little billy goat, he first began to cross Trip, trap, trip, trap, the bridge made a noise Who's there tripping over my bridge? Said a troll from below and came up close <laughs> I'm going to gobble you Said the troll of the river Little goat said I'm tiny My brother's much bigger Wait a little bit He's going to come through The troll said Hmm, be off with you Second Billy Goat, he began to cross Trip, trap, trip, trap, the bridge made a noise Who's that tripping over my bridge? Said the troll from below and came up close I'm going to gobble you, said the troll of the river The goat said, I'm small, my brother's much bigger Wait a little bit, he's going to come through The troll said, hmm, be off with you Meh, 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 meh The big billy goat then began to cross Trip, trap, trip, trap, the bridge made a noise Who's that tripping over my bridge? Said a troll from below and came up close I'm going to gobble you Said the troll to the goat The goat stared at him Made a noise with his throat He charged with his horn And knocked the troll down The three billy goats Lived happily then
Once there lived three grizzly bears in the house in the forest. Papa bear, mama bear, baby bear sat down to eat their porridge. Mm, much too hot. Proud Papa bear, let's go and walk in the forest. That's when Goldilocks came by, found the house in the thicket. Knock, 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 no answer so. Goldie entered the kitchen. Mmm, smells good. She grabbed a spoon, though she had no permission. Papa Bear's porridge, way too hot. Mama Bear's porridge, way too cold. Baby Bear's porridge, just right. Just right. Just right. After Goldie had her fill, she felt lazy and tired. In the living room she spied Chairs of three different sizes They look quite inviting so Goldie thought she'd try them Papa Bear's chair, way too hard Mama Bear's chair, way too soft Baby Bear's chair, just right Just right, just right Just as Goldie settled in that chair broke into pieces. Goldie went upstairs and found three nice beds she could sleep in. They looked quite inviting, so Papa's bed she creeped in. Papa Bear's bed, way too hard. Mama Bear's bed, way too soft. My porridge. Growled Papa. Someone's been eating my porridge. Said Mama. Someone's been eating my porridge. Cried Baby. And they ate it all up. Ate it all up. They walked into the living room and what do you think they noticed? Mm, someone's been sitting in my chair. Growled Papa. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Said Mama. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Cried Baby. And they broke it. In their bedroom now What do you think they noticed? Mm, someone's been sleeping in my bed Growled Papa Someone's been sleeping in my bed Said Mama Someone's been sleeping in my bed Cried Baby And there she is, there she is Goldilocks woke up and saw Three brown bears staring at her She screamed Help! Jumped out of bed Clatter down the stairs and through the door. Gold is gone forevermore. Our three bears, they scratched their heads, fixed the chair, and made the beds and sat down to eat their porridge. And that is the story of the three bears. story of Jack and the Beanstalk. What's a beanstalk? Is that a kind of soup? <laughs> no, silly. It's a... I don't know. Well, let's find out. Long ago, Jack and his mom lived their life on a country farm. They were poor, not enough to eat, so they made a plan to make ends meet. Jack, go sell our cow, Bessie, and with the money, we can grow more crops. On market Jack sold old Bess to a funny lass who was oddly dressed Hello, young man She politely bowed I'll trade you beans for that milking cow They're magic beans Whoa. And they'll grow a crop as high as the sky Wow! Jack went home to show his mom But when she saw what he had done She threw away the beans outside Oh, Jack, just beans? Oh, mom! She cried But, but mom, they're magic beans Magic. The next day where the beans did land, a giant beanstalk grew. Oh man! Jack climbed those twisty vines so high and found a castle in, in the, the sky. sky. Whoa! Look at that! But when he went inside the place, a big fat giant with an ugly face came thumping in so very loud. Shook the heavens and the clouds. Fo 
thumb, I smell a boy, yum, yum, yum! Fee, fi, fo, fum, ready or not, here I come! Jack was so frightened that he hid in the cupboard while the giant counted his gold. When the big gold giant fell asleep, Jack escaped with gold to keep, decided he'd go back up there. But first I'd better say a prayer! He climbed up to the castle and hid inside. Uh -huh. He said, The giant's pride. Golden eggs from that little hand. The giant counted at least ten. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, what comes after five? Feed five, four, four. I smell a boy. Yum, yum, yum. about Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah. I want to pretend that I'm Little Red and I'll be the Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure Wookie likes that idea. Everyone ready? Yeah! There once was a girl all dressed in red who went to her grandma's sickly bed. She's not feeling well, so I'll cut through the dell and visit Grand for a short little spell. Now remember, don't talk to any strangers. <gasps> I promise. Mama gave Red some special teas. Grandma's very favorite cheese. But in the woods, a wolf stopped Red. Well, hello, my dear. You're going where? He said, um, you're a stranger, right? I'm not really supposed to talk to you. But I'm off to Grand. She's sick in bed. I've brought some cheese and fresh baked bread. Then Red took off, but the wolf was smart. He knew the way to Grand's by heart. <laughs> I'm smarter than the average wolf. <laughs> The wolf sneaked into Grandma's place. I'll hide you so there's not a trace. He locked her in, got into bed with Granny's nightcap on his head. Help me! Poor Granny cried. Why come in, dear? Why, Granny? Said Red, and she walked right in. Oh, I've been wondering how you've been. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. But she sounded weird. Uh, Granny said. When do you have a beard? Oh, oh, oh. Granny has a beard. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have. And Granny, what big eyes you have. And Granny, what big teeth you have. The better, my dear, to eat you with. <gasps> The better to eat you <gasps> with. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> On second thought, no, no! Cried Little Red Riding Hood, and a huntsman burst in from the woods. He broke the door, and he grabbed that beast. Why, I'll give you a pound! To say the least, you're a big, bad, hairy wolf. 
And you better stop being a bully or you won't have any friends. <laughs> well, the huntsman let poor Granny out and Little Red just blurted out. I talked to a stranger. Confess, Little Red. I've learned my lesson now. She said. She learned her lesson now, she said. Wow, that big bad wolf sure learned his lesson. Uh -huh. He sure did. And I sent him away and he never came back. See what happens to big bad bullies? Indeed. Now what's the moral of the story? <gasps> never let a wolf know if you have fresh baked bread and special <laughs> cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, whose turn is it to tell a story? It's my turn, and I'm going to tell the story of the lion and the mice. <laughs> Don't you mean mouse? <laughs> Not this time, because you're all going to be the little mice. Oh. A mighty, mighty lion lay sleeping in his lair. Three little mice came creeping by and stared. One accidentally brushed up against the lion's paw. Yikes! Mr. Lion. Uh, there ought to be a law. Oh, sorry. I, I hope I didn't hurt you. The lion drew his paw back and dropped it on the mouse. Ow. The other mice were frightened and squealed. You mouse! I beg you, Mr. Lion, kindly hear my plea. I promise to repay you if you'll only set me free. <laughs> oh, please. I'll be your best friend. Well, I guess I could say yes, but only just this time. Now scatter with your friends and I'll pay you no mind. Oh, thank you, Mr. Lion. I'm forever in your debt. I guess not every lion is really such a threat. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> You're swell. So the great big lion let the little mouse go. Phew, that was scary. But that wasn't the end of the story. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, do tell. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> well, the lion went to hunting and wound up in a net. He paced and paced and growled and then began to fret. He roared so very loud that the three mice heard his cry. Is that your friend the lion? He's in trouble, me oh my! Hold on to your horses, I mean lions, we're coming to the rescue! Captured in the net, the lion paced and cried. Unafraid, the little mice clambered to his side. They nibbled a big hole and became the lion's guide. Well, what do you know? These little mice have now become my pride. <laughs> We're friends. <laughs> friends to the end. Nice mousey. <laughs> friends are just like family and family just like friends. I always keep my promises on that you can depend. The lesson here is friendship, Mr. Lion C. Friendship is a gift that always sets you free. So, so is this a story about lions that get trapped? <laughs> no, silly. It's about friendship and, mm -hmm. and kindness. It sure is. <laughs> it's about always being there for your friends. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Sweet. Let's tell the story of the boy and the wolf and the sheep. Oh, the little boy who cried wolf. Why would he cry wolf? <laughs> because he didn't know how to say wah. <laughs> Joey, <laughs> why don't you pretend to be the shepherd boy and tell us all about it? <laughs> sure. I'm a shepherd boy who tends his sheep. I try hard not to fall asleep. Because sometimes it can get real slow watching all this green grass grow. Shake! 
The villagers came out to see The boy and sheep were quite carefree The boy just laughed <laughs> I was kidding, guys But this was not a fun surprise Shame on you for making us all worry We thought you and your flock were in trouble Oh, it was just a joke Can't you take a joke? <laughs> The next day passed and night dragged on The boy made a plan in early dawn <laughs> I'll do it all again today So I'm not bored And he laughed away <laughs> <laughs> Help me, help me A wolf appeared It chased my sheep We're all afeard <gasps> Oh dear Sounds like trouble. So once again villagers climbed the hill to see the sheep were fine. The boy <laughs> laughed. I was kidding guys. I think you better apologize. Yeah. Say you're sorry. You tricked us again. That's just not nice. You lied to us. <laughs> it was just a joke. The villagers were not happy. But the shepherd boy thought it was funny that he once again tricked the townspeople. You bet. One fine day while with his flock, a wolf appeared. The boy was shocked. He cried out to the village folks. Help me, please. This is not a joke. Ah, la -di -da. Would you like another cup of tea? Don't mind if I do. But no one paid attention then. Thought it was a joke again. They ignored the shepherd's plea. Just relaxed and drank their tea. Hey, this is not funny. Help me, help me, a wolf appeared. It's chased my sheep. We're all afeard. But sadly, no one came. The shepherd boy realized that no one believed him anymore. The boy came running into town. Everybody gathered round. He's the one who made us mad. I'm sorry I behaved so bad. I really am. I've learned my lesson and I'll never lie again. Don't think that I am mad Who's that over there with the 
let go! The queen of hearts is mean! I need to leave this scene! Alice closed her little eyes When she opened them, she was by the riverside She shook her head, looked at the stream
eyes, Mark. Didn't you ever hear the story about the boy who cried wolf? No? Tell me! The boy, the boy, the boy who cried wolf, the boy, the boy, the boy who cried wolf. There was a boy who watched the sheep. He'd watch him walk and watch him sleep. He was so bored he made a plan. I need to find some action, man. Think 
you can help me. <laughs> You're a silly, silly, tiny little mouse. Okay, I'll set you free. Wow, you sure are brave. Oh, help me. Won't somebody help me? The lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. The mouse heard a lion's roar and knew just what to do. She called her friends. They ran to the lion. Grab the rope and start to chew. I should never have laughed at you at all. like the mean old troll in the story of Billy Goat Gruff. Oh yeah! That's my favorite story! Once there were three Billy Goats One was very small One was in the middle One was big and tough These were the Billy Goat Gruffs They went walking across a bridge Stop right there. You can't pass. 
past this bridge. I'm gonna get you and gobble you up. And that's just the way it is. Just try it, mean old troll. I got two big spears. I'll toss you right off this bridge and you'll be crying big troll tears.
story for you two, don't we, dear? Oh, yes, we do. Read! Read, please! Once upon a time, in the great prairie lands, lived a fun-loving grasshopper. I love to play all day long. Makes me happy, it makes me strong. Worries work not in my day. Why would I work when I can play? Hippity hop, 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 hop. I hop to the park to lots of fun. Hippity hop, 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 hop. I will dance, dance in the sun. Look at me, I'm dancing. His friendly neighbors, the ants, did their work first. The grasshopper wondered why the ants worked so hard all day long. We love to play, but we have to work. Work comes first, or the queen goes berserk. Chores, tasks, all in our day. They must get done, then we play. Hippity hop, 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 hop. I hop to the fields to get great food. Hippity hop, 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 hop. I will sing, I'm in a good mood! <laughs> the ants were worried and they yelled out to the grasshopper. The ants scurried off home as the wind began to howl. This change it is colder today Certainly not like yesterday No sun, warmth, where did they go? Maybe tomorrow they will show Hippity hop, 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 hop I hop to the pond and I have some fun Hippity hop, 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 hop No one here, I'm the only one Hey, where'd everybody go? The grasshopper was hungry and very cold in the dreary winter weather. It's so cold, colder today. I have not eaten like yesterday. Windy snow shivering through. I need help, I'm asking you. Hey, can you help a brother out? ants heard the knocking and they ran to their door. They let the cold grasshopper inside and he thanked the ants for their sweet kindness. I have learned in a very hard way, work comes first, then you play. Chores, tasks, do not delay. Get to them first, that's the way. Hippity hop, 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 hop. I hop to my work, my work comes first. Hippity hop, 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 hop. Fun then comes with a real burst. Hippity hop, 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 hop. I hop to work, my work comes first. Hippity hop, 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 hop. Fun then comes with a real burst. <laughs> <laughs>